proposed legislation looks at the possibility of banning Native American mascots in Massachusetts schools. Advocates of the bill say the practice is offensive, while some who live in towns with these mascots say it's a part of their history. Our Chandler Walsh joins us live now with more on the legislation. Chandler. Olivia, the state's Joint Committee on Education held a hearing this week where the mascot legislation was discussed. One woman on her community's tribal council says its passage would be a big stepping stone. I don't think you have to display a, a, a race of people to, to be a winner. Elizabeth Coldwind Santana Kaiser sits on the Nitmuk Tribal Council in Southbridge. She wants the way Native Americans are represented in schools to change. I was an advocate for parents and so I went into a lot of schools and a lot of schools have murals on their walls where the natives are attacking them. Santana Kaiser left the area years ago and says when she moved back, everything was the same. Which is kind of upsetting because now I have my grandchildren going into these schools seeing the same thing and how is it is it affecting them? Proposed legislation would ban Massachusetts schools from using Native American mascots, logos, or team names. Several Central Mass school districts have these affiliations. David White goes to Tantasqua Regional High School, where the team name is the Warriors. He isn't opposed to the change and says it could be a good thing. I think we'd still have that same Tantasqua pride we always had just with a different mascot under a different name. Kevin McConnell graduated from the school and says the team name honors the area's history. Being a warrior, certainly a Native American warrior, warrior is an honorable thing. And I think that the school was named to honor the Native Americans that were here prior to the town being colonized. Santana Kaiser hopes the legislation is passed. She says it would allow Native Americans to share their history in their own way. I've always felt good about myself, but I can't say that every Native American does, mm -hmm. you know, so it's a fight, it's a battle. But um, I think we're in a, in, a, in a situation today where we can make that change. With the legislation, the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education would have to come up with a due date for schools to select a different mascot. Olivia.